so right now we're in Nakano, or at least what we think is Nakano. We've been following Nakano Dori Street for like ever. And we're gonna progress and try and find the Sunshine Center. Let's wait for that guy to go up. Uh... The area here is a lot less busy than Tokyo. For whatever reason, there's just a, a cat in this room. So, Universal Family has a maybe the longest to end all one piece. Here's a view of a bit more of Nakano from this vertigo spiral tower thing that we found. The spiral tower is unfortunately closed after like a few steps. We see an okay view of the city from here. So we found this interesting looking pachinko and slot machine place right down the street. It's something that I thought originally was Super Sonic on the top, but I think it's more of a lion character. We're gonna avoid this like the plague because we decided that we really don't like Pachinko. Something I didn't notice the last time that we were here, but the Sakura Microns are actually blue here and not brown. They have these adorable two color ballpoint pens and some animal faces. Put the ear down. One color. Really cool. So in Akano, we actually found a decent sized, but a decent stock camera store. I'm kind of excited about going in. So after much walking, we have finally made our way to Ikibukuru. It's approximately 410. We've been walking for like three and a half hours? About that. Up to 12.30. And we finally made it to our destination. The place we're going to is going to be right up here by Ikebukuro Station. It's going to be the Sunshine Center, I believe it's called. And it's a multi-tiered, almost like a mall. It has a lot of really cool stores that we checked out last time. So we're going to progress forward. What Ed has is slightly different. This isn't a drink. It seems to be a pudding, maybe a flan type thing. I have so no I idea what it is. It's like a coffee flavored jelly with cream. It's kind of like you're drinking a cow. I can't remember if I liked it or not, so I'm actually going to go with it again today. These are called Young Donuts. Apparently only who knows this taste can appreciate it. They're like little tiny donuts. And I'm kind of interested in I kind of want to get them. So we're deep in Ikibukuro right now. We just came out of that store right there, which had a lot of Crow's Worst stuff. They wouldn't lie and take pictures. So we're heading down this way. It seems to be a very populated shopping slash restaurant area. But this thing up here we were referring to, it looks like it's a hive. But we're currently looking for the Sunshine Center, which we believe is beyond this point. There's a view of the back side of the hive. This is again a long strip of restaurants and shops. It was quite bad, far back. I think all these places, like that's a 290 yen place. Kind of similar to the, I'm assuming like the uh, 270 place I went the other day. Still trying to find the Sunshine Center, but we were slightly distracted by a Sunkus. Currently Ed and I are on a tour that involves us going to, I think you can explain it. We're going to every convenience store that we can find and sampling their chicken poppers. Excellent. It is a mission that will surely end in our deaths. We're still in Ikibukuru and we are still looking for the Sunshine Center. We've been looking for quite some time as you can see the sun has gone down. I wonder if we'll be able to find the Sunshine Center at night. Uh, I think it actually disappears at night. It sets, it turns into the Moon Center. But the Moon Center is different, don't go in there.
Well, we spent several hours walking through Sunshine, Sunshine City. Turns out, this is the place we wanted to not come to. The place that we actually hated enough that we were here, that we wanted to put it at all costs. Welcome to Sunshine, Sunshine City. It's like an underground mall of some sorts. It makes you feel like you're in either America or the Narita Airport. It's so, okay. we didn't want to go back. It's an okay mall. It's just, a mall is a western. So it makes you feel as if you're in the west. So here we are. We are in Mysterious. We were directed here by a guy named Shu. He who, spoke English. He spoke, he spoke English. He's, been, he's lived in New York. He's going to move to New York in a few months. Um, he, we asked him for a recommendation on food and he brought us here. Some people pay money in Japan for sex or karaoke or maid cafes. We, however, just paid $10 to spend an hour with unlimited drinks in a room full of cats at Ikebukura Cat Cafe. Right now I'm trying to attract the fancy of the cats. Oh, here's one. He's good at it. Oh, yeah. Let me get it from the toy.